Hello guys and welcome to another video of mine. Okay, so I am on the vlog camera today, usually run my uh, laptop camera. But so what we are going to be doing today is that we are well, I've, I came home from work early uh, today. Um, I've done a few bits that I've got home. At the moment, me and my sister are going through my buttons collection. I thought that you guys would like to see how far it has progressed so far so about the light as well because it's really sunny outside here in the UK even though we are going through the horrible coronavirus pandemic but anyway moving on let's have a look at the Batman's collection so <laughs> what you need them now now okay so let's have a look and um see what we've got here My sister is currently polishing my badges for me. But what well, I'm going to say, why well, she's cleaning them for me, do not do the Kent house for that though. But, um, dusty. Not dusty, but that's paper. Just be careful with that. Um, so let's have a look in my collection area. Okay, so I'm going through the boxes here and making sure they're all neat and tidy so when we went to the adult break i actually brought myself this it's a little whoop, it's a little key ring bognery just bare key ring it's nice and soft excuse my bloody finger not in that context i somehow cut myself i don't know how but that's that bear No one free about you can. That's made out of tin. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I've got in the 2020 adult break. I've got the in here. I've got the confirmation and all that stuff. Um, so where should we start? So we can look through the stand. So here are all my. I'm gonna not because I've literally just like sorted this out. Um. So we've got the postcards right here. Go on, Paige. Oh, that's all right. As long as it's not too bad. Um. So here, here are the postcards. So you've probably seen these in my previous videos. If you haven't seen them, here we go. So there's one, two, three, four, and I'm missing one which might be up there, but I don't know. I'll come back to this. We've got this old book from the 1960s in the Holiday Camp Mystery. We've got the Butlins Beaver Club Annual. What year was this? What year was this? Annual. I think it was the 60s. Let's have a look at this. Do no, actually. This is strange for me. I don't know actually what year it's from. It's the new edition. <laughs> I can't remember what year. I reckon it's the 60s. Everything's falling down in here. This is a new edition to my. Um, collection buttons camp church review thing and it's got oh, done. thank you basically it's got all these like pictures and things from the buttons there's Billy Button what? Um, I'll come to that in a little bit um it's got like something from the reverend in there. I can't remember where the reverend is. But the reverend's somewhere in there. Um, you've probably seen these before. This is a holiday brochure from 1964, I think. And this is a holiday program also from the 60s. Huh? 
Yeah, it's got all old, my sister's just saying there's loads of old adverts in that. Now we're coming to the back, we've got a mixture of Haven, Park, Dean, Lion King tickets, Haven stuff. We've got all sorts of random things in the back, but that's why I'm keeping all the back end things in front. Some old tickets. I'll tell you what, I'll just keep, because it's just going to be really awkward. Ugh. It's going to be really awkward putting this all back, so I'll just put it all back in a little while. <laughs> uh, um, the Beaver Club. Yeah, the Beaver Club. Um, now, I said I was going to come back to this later, because even though at the moment, due to coronavirus, um, Butlins is closed, but in July, I'm going to announce in July we are going to be going to Butlins, Bognor Ages for the summer break. Um, yeah, and we arranged that when I was in the adult break. So, you've probably seen my tank, two tank cards before one from 1963, one from 1959, which is this pretty one with this lovely holly thing at the back. We've got this thing to inviting you to a Butlins Ocean Hotel in Salt Dean Bull in Sunday the 30th of March in 1980. Got a modern Butlins pen. There we go. You've probably seen that before as well in my previous Butlins vlogs. I paid my deposit in the 1960s right here. If you're scared of dolls, um, skip the video slightly. This is a red coat. People are people it's, are of yeah, people are scared of these types of dolls. Um, this is a red coat doll. This is from looking at the logo but there's holidays logo right down here this is from the 1980s when they did actually start doing Batlin's red coat dolls you can even see by the uniform that this red coat doll was wearing so we've got the dotted necrity from the 1960s the red blazer and the short white climp skirt however this show does not this doll has not got the traditional shoes for the red coats in the 1980s yeah. Um. Well, you've probably seen my special badge, uh, cabinet special things for their anniversary badges, which are all in here. So we've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one. This is a token thing I won out of a random machine that's just fe fell out with like a um, with like a SpongeBob card or something. But this thing has got nothing to do with this. Those Chuck E. Cheese fans out there. This is a Chuck E. Cheese token. It is one of the modern ones. This is the 2015 Chuck E. Cheese badge. I don't know why I've added this to the button thing, but it will just keep that nice. And so this thing is really rare to come by, this button thing right here. This is a souvenir from William E. Butlin. William. I don't know what the E stands for, but it's William ah uh, William Edward Butlin. His really full name, Billy Butlin's real full name is William Edward Colborne Butlin. And this is a special thing. This is really rare. It says a souvenir from W. E. Butlin from the uh, to the Butlin's Beavers, which is actually for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. That's the back with the that's the back with the queen's head. So it's really sunny. I wasn't expecting this to be so sunny. Down there. Okay. Um this thing with a creepy sun thing in there. This is basically yeah that page. <laughs> it's it's a creepy sun. But this is like something from the seventies. Like early seventies. Early uh early 70s late 60s it's one of these keychain things so you hold your keys and stuff in we've got what my mum found for me a button's beer mat it says double diamond works wonders which is a 
find out for alcohol back then. Oop. And it says at the back. Butlin's the place for holiday fun, lots of fresh air and plenty of sun. Complete complete your pleasure, add your zest, have a double dun di double diamond beer at its best. That's such a tongue twister there. Wow. We've got a diamond jubilee bell. Ring a ding a ding. <laughs> Woo! I don't want to break anything. But it's a mine head bell. This is slightly older, this is like from the 1960s. Ring like so. Ding a ling a ling. Um, modern things. We've got a daisy mascot thing. Quite recently, you've seen one of this in the souvenir video about this icon's cushion. That's a Stephen Mulhern picture of my sister, I'm not going to bring that out. We've got a Coca Cola Zero drink from 2018 bottle. It's got a clotted cream shortbread bottle with the owl's design at the front, but that's actually quite modern. In here, we've got, I hope, some kind of made. A Butlin's bag, a hotel souvenir thing, which I've left all the souvenir stuff just for collection purposes. We've got all our holiday back date things, your 2016, your 2017, your 2018, missed a year when we went to Park Dean in 2019, and the 2020 adults weekend uh, collection thing as well. Um, I'm not going to bring all of that stuff out, some of that's quite it's personal but it is for collection purposes so I was allowed to like cut away our personal information and stuff um out of it but you've got all sorts of things and even I bought this coronavirus photo and I'm mentioning corona because of the coronavirus a lot in this video but we need to spread awareness of these things but hey that's all sorted I'm just gonna move up the way quickly <laughs> Ignore. Oh, that is fine. You should not. Run off. If you what? If you are a fan of Butlin's adverts, that is like a 2013 advert tune thing. My sister's holding a grubby tissue because she's been doing like <laughs> polishing yeah. for me. It isn't a tissue. It's a um, antibacterial wipe. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I've got a premium top bag. Ooh, hello. Sorry, I <laughs> just whack you in the head of it. Um. <laughs> We got a premium club bag with all sorts of premium club badges all the way around it. Like that. It's amazing. Um some more things. This is like a huge collection now guys. <laughs> I'm squishing my sister now. Um hey what do you want to look this bit today, page? And show everybody what I've got up here. So you guys can sit down there. Cool. That is a bat lens. And it's these buttons, Bogner Ages. Yeah. Keep focus on it. <laughs> buttons, <laughs> Bogner Ages for Mum and Sir Owl. Or the trip flies at Owl. It's got a button. Oh, no, I'll grab the camera. I've got a little. Uh, ignore my boob of you there. Um, <laughs> zoom out somehow at least, and I'm zoomed in. A button's um, money box teapot. Also from the 1960s. Mrs. Potts. It's Mrs. Potts. Oh, yeah, that's also from the 1960s. We've got a... I can't remember what this is. This is a... I think this is Filey. A Butlin's um, Filey Rose Medal Medallion Thingy Majig, which you'll win if you did like an old Butlin's support. So I'm going to actually flick my light on here. Um, no, a modern sports badge. So if you did the like, archery or something, like, now the younger kids will end up going to grab that. Do you mind if I put place this in here quick way? Um, I won't get up if I was here though. Um, we've got a big buzz. Whoa, there's a big buzz badge right there from the 1960s. The collection continues. All this line. It's on the 30s to the 40s. 30s. So that's my early 30s badge. From 1939, Butlin's Gaganath badge. <laughs> Butlin's Filey 1947 badge. Clapton 1947 badge. Um, 
1946 Gagnastad, 19, um, I mean 1948 even, 1948 Filey, Badge, a Royal Albert Hall Butler's Reunion 1948 Badge, Butler's Skegness 1947 badge and a, a Butlins for Philly 1948 badge. Coming down, we've got everything from the 50s and the 60s, so on and so forth. All of those. Ah, this one's a fake. That one, that one's a fake. That one's not real. Um, the first night, uh, Bogner Regis badge, right there. And we've got uh, more 60s, most of these are like 60s for now here. See last time you, the, the, um, I showed you the collection, it was so much smaller than this bowl, got so much more now. Um, these are like the Butler's Beaver Club and second week, uh, second week badges over here. And a 913 badge right there as well. Um, Butlins Comet, Continental Holiday, so around the world. Stagecoach um, Holiday thing right here. Um, Butlins Schools badge. And Butlins is the residentials for primary school kids. And Kent House Rosette. This is also modern, that is the Butlins 2020. Um, recent badge, I have to put this in this lanyard right here, which has got a mixture of just general collection, like modern stuff around here. It's all modern and staff only. Like the traffic lights are staff only. And so on and so forth. But there's two badges. So when I got on the travel so you should come back with a badge. But yeah. Over. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so Woo! It was knackering going through all of that. It's like yeah, 17 minutes, gosh. Um so I literally went through all of that in 17 minutes. It was a miracle for how much buttons things I've now got and I look absolutely dreadful. <laughs> um so yeah, that is the buttons collection completed. Um, so guys, I'm looking forward to going and doing some more videoing. And I will see you soon. See you later. Bye.